Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. You know, what you imagine, you become. And you cannot do until you become. So the question is, how do you visualize yourself? What do you imagine about yourself? Have you limited your life by what you imagine? And what you imagine, that's what your goals, your vision, your doing will be centered around. So always remember, if you want to change your trajectory, you want to change where you are and move to something greater, then you got to imagine yourself being that greater. You got to visualize it. You got to speak it to become a part of you. Get it down deep in your subconscious mind. Reason why a lot of people are stuck is because they're following and practicing and repeating the idiot stupidity things that others have said. In my circles, I hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a gang banger, I'm a gang member. Is that all you imagine yourself to be? Because what you imagine, that's what you become. And if that's what you imagine yourself to be, that's all you're gonna do. And you'll never become anything great. You'll be stuck in the hood, stuck in the ghetto. And you might accomplish something because someone will re reward that stupidity. But if you want to move to bigger, better, and greater things, you got to imagine yourself doing, being bigger, greater, and better. So what do you visualize? What are your goals? Whatever you imagine, that's what you become. So become something greater than this environment that we've been forced to be in. Become what God wants you to be. Fulfill and live out the purpose that he created you for. All right, go imagine something great and become that. God bless you.